dynamics and hysteresis in square lattice artificial spin eyes. Artificial spin eyes are systems that mimic the usual spin eyes materials, but built in two spatial dimensions with the use of elongated magnet nano islands. Here, we consider the square lattice. In each vertex, four islands meet, as shown in the figure, and the lowest energy arises when the magnetic moment spins of these four islands are in a configuration in which two spins point in and the other two point out, the famous ice rule. The square lattice is arranged like this. In this work, we study the systems by taking into account the internal structure of the islands. Then, we have to consider the motion of all spins inside the islands. Due to the anisotropies, spins prefer to be in the XY plane, point along the longest sides of the islands. This is an approximation in which the reverse of the total spin of an island is coherent. The Hamiltonian that describes this system is like this. The first term is the dipolar interaction between all nano islands in the array and the other terms are the two local shape anisotropies. D is dipole-dipole coupling, K1 is the constant that forces the spins to preferentially point along the longest x of the island, and K3 is a constant that makes the z x to be a hard x. B is the stellar magnetic field. Now we present some results. Blue and red arrows in the film are spins with positive and negative out-of-plane components respectively. Normal circles with plus minus signs represent magnetic monopole excitations with unit charge. Larger circles are doubly charged monopoles. Firstly, we consider a system which islands, as usually, studied in experiments. Therefore, we use constants consistent with permaloid nano islands with size fabricated in most experiments. The system's temperature is above the temperature for which there is a peak in the specific heat. The system is unable to gain access to any states near the ground state. Instead, there is a strong disorder which is indicated by the presence of many magnetic monopoles. The magnetic monopole density is about 0.6 per vertex. It's also interesting to see that monopoles are mobile. The same anterior system, but now the temperature is below the temperature at which the peak of specific heat appears. At lower temperature, the magnetic monopole density decreases to about 0.5 per vertex. The monopoles do not move. The dipoles only make small oscillations about the anisotropy direction. The monopoles are frozen in. These results show how there are strong energy barriers between the configuration shown here and one of the ground states. Even decreasing realistically the island sizes, systems made with permaloy may not get the ground state. We then use our dynamic model for seeking systems that could get the ground state. We use the standard nano-island sizes, but we look for appropriated constants, d, q1, and q3. Then, by using fabricated constants, we obtain systems that can access the ground state. Thus, in principle, one could get systems that easily access the ground state by material engineering, constructing spin ice with islands made of new magnetic materials. An example, d equal q1, q equal q3, equal 0.1. Let's see things closer. Note that the temperature is able to generate monopoles. They are quite free to move around. It helps the system to reach the thermodynamic equilibrium for a chosen temperature. When the temperature is decreasing from 0.2 to 0.1, the monopole density greatly reduces to a value close to zero. This shows that the model exhibits thermalization. There are very few monopoles being excited. The system has found a way to move close to one of the ground states.